Good day, everybody, and welcome to the studio again. Today, we're going to work with some of Tim Holtz's new colors. And I mean, these are beautiful. These are alcohol ink pearl colors. He just came out with a new selection. And I'm going to uh, rattle off the colors that we'll be using, and, uh, and I'll tell you what they are. Radiant, which is a yellow. Scorch, which is an orange. Intense which is a red and it's very intense, it's beautiful. Elixir is a green, divine is a blue, and opulent is a purple. We'll also be using blending solution, Yupo paper, the air blower, and of course my craft sheet, and a letterate black pen, and a ranger white opaque pen. And I'm not kidding, this, oh, the other thing is, don't forget your ink cozies. These work better if you leave them on their side because they're easy to shake. Because you can see inside, there's a, um, there's some thick medium, which is uh, the pearl. So you gotta shake it good. And it's easier to do it if you leave them on their side. And if you use the ink cozies, they have a flat edge to keep them from rolling all over the place. So anyway, uh, let's get busy. I'm also using Ranger um, brushes so uh, and blending solution. So without further ado, let's go have some fun. Now, <clears throat> these are what I call no-brainer air-blowing flowers. And oh, also, I just wanted to let you know, <laughs> I'm so on the ball. We're going to use Alloy Rose. And this is like little chunks of metal. And it's beautiful. So without further ado... <clears throat> let's get busy. I'm going to do some uh, warm flowers first. And uh, these are so easy. And you can do this with your grandkids, your, your kids, your friends. It's that easy. It's a, it's a prom I promise you can't even mess it up because I have tricks to fix anything. The other thing is, is that um, I just want to let you know I'm using Yupo paper. Ranger and Tim Holtz Yupo paper. So, uh, and it's this is a five by seven sheet, so it's a good size sheet, but you can get even bigger pieces if you want them for your wall. So, let's get busy. I'm going to take a little of the yellow and I'm going to show you different ways I use it. And I'm going to pour today right out of the bottle and I'm going to make a nice big flower right here. So, I'm putting a little of that on there and I'm going to put one drop of blending solution on the edge ish. <laughs> One drop, whatever. Whatever comes out of the bottle works for me. And I kind of like to go straight down on it a little bit at first. And it's kind of fun because you get you get to play in it. And then I blow it out from the center and I turn it and I blow it and I turn it. Now, if you want bigger flowers, you just add more blending solution. If you want smaller flowers, you uh, don't add as much blending solution. And you can always come back and add more. So now I want to show you what, this looks really nice. I really like it. And I like one edge dark and one edge light because it gives depth. But if you don't do that, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you all kinds of tricks today. So I'm putting more blending solution just on what I got. And I want this on the light side. Do you see how light that is? Look how pretty. And you can blow in both directions. Don't be afraid. Blow in both directions. Let's say I want it darker. I'll take a little more of my... Radiant and put a little drop again in the center. And this little blending solution is still active on there, so it's still moving pretty good. Plus it moves on its on its own pretty well. But this is how you can get darker if you want one side darker than the other. You can just add a few more drops, turn the paper, and give it a little spray. You can also use alcohol. So let's put a little drop of alcohol on there and give it a spray. And it, as you can see, it's a little lighter. It's not as strong as blending solution. See how light that is? So if you do ever wanna get light, just use more alcohol. But I like the blending solution. It gives a um, nice texture. I love the little um, blossoms that it gives you. So I'm gonna put another little bit here. And this time I'm just gonna use just the, uh, just the ink itself and just blow it out because I want it nice and dark. And you can see little bits of uh, blending solution or alcohol there and it breaks it up kind of nice, but it changes as it goes, but it looks really cool. And you go in both directions. 
because what you're looking for is lots of textures. See that? So I'm going to turn this again and put a little more blending solution down on this side. Because like I said, I want this side to be lighter. And I'm going to just make this bigger. So I'm just going to put a little of that radiant there and blow it. And see how big I can get this? And in the process, it's getting lighter and I have my light side. So I have lots of depth. And look at these little strands. I love the strands. Very organic. It's great for abstractions as well. Okay, so let's say I wanted a little more uh, detail. I can take a little of that color and put it on my craft sheet. <clears throat> <clears throat> and just take a brush. Now, unlike alcohol ink, it you don't want to reconstitute it. You really just kind of, I enjoy just using it right out of the to bottle because of it's a different kind of a medium and it's it's really magnificent every medium has its specialties and this one is pretty beautiful so you see how i made a center just by blobbing little alcohol little alcohol pearl in the center of it and you see how thick and dark it is so that's easy right if you want you can even take that brush and do more if you want it's just a matter of what you like you're the artist. You're allowed to do anything. Do I, I give you permission to be marvelous? Okay, so let's uh, take another little hit of this and let's make some buds. So I'm just going to take a little round. You can make a round, right? And then just take your brush and pull it. And now I get a little bud. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I'll do another one. And we wanted to kind of look at this particular flower. It's a good composition. So I'll just take make that round and just pull it. Basically, all you need to do is make a round ball and pull a tip off. And there you get a bud. You see that? You can do that. You know you can do that. And I'm going to do another one because threes are good. But I'm going to make this one smaller because it looks like it's behind everything if I do. And I'll just pull it off. See that? Look how cute that is. I love that. So if I know I love that, I leave it alone. Because I like the different sizes. You want things to be different sizes. We need another flower. So what I want to do is add a little bit more of the yellow over here. And I'm going to do a flower coming off the side. And I'm not really worried about anything. And I'm going to show you why. I mean, just do it and have fun with it. I'm going to go back and forth on this one and just make it a sideways flower. It can go off the paper. It makes the paper look bigger. Look how beautiful that is. Now let's say I want to add a little more color. So I think I would like to add some of the, um, the scorch on it. It's like an orange. And like I said, shake that up. Put a little dab of that on this side. And I'm using it right out of the bottle right now. It gives you a, uh, like I said, a darker look. And just go slowly and then turn it and go back in the other direction. Now, let's say you did it and you're not thrilled, right? I'm gonna show you how to fix everything, but actually I'm always pretty thrilled with these. I'm gonna get a little alcohol this time because I want it to be a little bit lighter. And I'm just gonna blow it. Do you see how light that gets? So you have lots of control in the sense of uh, you can make it all different values. You can even blow back into it and blow up. Now I want a darker at the base because I want a stem coming out. So I'm gonna make it darker here. So I'm not gonna use any solution. I'm just gonna let it run a little bit and just lightly puff at it. And it's so fun to watch it move. It's very organic. We're gonna do an abstract too for fun. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to play with these blow flowers. And they're fun to do because they're easy and they're a no-brainer. Let's say I want some of that beautiful color in the middle to give this center a really nice look. Now that I had time to dry, I'll put that out and just take my the tip of my brush and just tap into it. Look at that. Look at all the values I got. And it really looks like a nice center because we let it rest. 
Now this one here, I'm gonna make a little bit of a line, like as if it's the bud underneath. Isn't that cute? This one can be bigger. It's almost like a rosebud. It can be anything. It's just a beautiful little flower. People aren't gonna go and look it up in their flower books. Although maybe there's some that will do that. <laughs> so now what I wanna do is um, make one more little uh, something down here, maybe some leaves, huh? So, but you know what? I think I would like one more flower because it will be a good composition of three and it will come down and around. So I think me, I need one right in here. So I'm gonna use, uh, but this time I wanted a little DACA. So I'm gonna use the, um, the, I'm gonna use the intense in this particular flower and I want it to kind of hang down. So I'm just gonna put a little of that out and I want it to be on the darker side. So I'm just gonna turn this and blow in this direction from the center out, the center out. See that? Look how cute. Not so big. You want them different sizes. So now I'm going to go back into the uh, scorch. Put that at the bottom just to make a value change. Well, actually, make a color change is nice. And look how it works together and it gives another color. And that's all there is to it. It's that easy. So now we're going to make some leaves. I'm going to put my colors aside. <coughs> and now I want to get into my greens. So I'm going to get into my elixir. Now you can do it many ways. So I'm going to show you, uh, I like to pour sometimes, so it's just a little line. And then I'll just touch and pull. And that's with a dirty brush, because see how I get variated colors? Touch and pull. Bring some a little nub up, like as if it's the uh, connection point to the to the bud. You can tap into the flower itself, and it connects it. Do you see how that works? You can also just put a little drop on your craft sheet. I love that. And let's put this one coming this way. Just tapping it. That's all I'm doing is tapping. Maybe put some up in here, just to make it look like it's connecting. Now on this one, let's see if I got a thinner brush. Okay, well this one's got a nice point. And I'm just gonna pull a line. Now if you're not really great at it, just scratch at it and do it sketchy, because then you can get away with anything. I'm a very sketchy artist. And then I just kind of pull in from wherever you think the center is and pull it into that little stem. Pull it right into that stem and maybe pull it around. And I find little sh circles really work well. You can come back up here and attach things wherever if there's a gap. Let's put another flower here, a uh, stem. I'm going to put another stem over here and have it come down and around like as if it's a little bouquet. And I want it to go behind that flower because it's a little more interesting. Don't you think so? And then I'm going to pull some of these out. So now I'm going to add some more greens for some leaves. So I'm just going to take a little green on my, a touch and pull. And you can pull any direction. You just want to make sure there's a point on it. Now, if you go over the stem, it looks like it's growing behind it, which is even more interesting. So that looks really nice. Maybe a little darkness up here. Just tap on it. It works really well. So you just tap, 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 and you get your dark value, and then you pull a little bit. You can make little tendrils coming off where it attaches and open the bud opens. You 
can have it come out this way. You can have the little darkness back here for the stems. Just make sure some stems are bigger and some stems are a little smaller. Touch, pull, touch, pull, touch, pull. You can make it come off little edges. And like I say, keep it sketchy, it's fun. And these are beautiful thank you notes, uh, birthday cards. Look how pretty that is. It's make believe there's a little leaf back here that comes through. See how interesting that is? It joins things together, which is a good composition. Now, I'm gonna take a little of that green, you probably wouldn't have thought of this, and put it in the middle of that flower to make a center because they're complements and it makes a nice brown. So look how nice that looks. And you can add as many layers as you want and just leave it like that. Now these um, buds could use a little green. And where you made the little lines, you can go around them, you know, for that looking like they're peeking through. They're getting ready to pop. So you don't have to do all this. That was fine the way it was, but it's always fun to add a little more when you get into playing. Okay, so what I want to, I want to keep it sketchy and messy because I want to show you something else. Okay, I'm just going to sketch out that little, little, just rub and sketch like that, just scribble. And it gives the impression that there's leaves in the background without having to paint leaves all over the place. And just let it fade away because there's less on your brush. And just let it fade out. Look how pretty that is. I find less is more. The more you, you, you work real hard and put every little leaf in, it doesn't look as good. It looks better when you don't. Now I'm going to just put alcohol on my brush, start at the bottom again, and just with that dirty brush, get some more value change. I want to darker down in here and work my way up and it will be lighter and it softens everything. You don't have to do, like I say, you don't have to do all this. It looked good before, but I wanna show you all these options that you have. Okay, so now what I wanna do with this particular painting is this looks okay. I'm not com upset about it. It looks, <laughs> it looks pretty good, but I wanna make it better. So I'm gonna just put a little alcohol in here and we'll, blot and lift. You see that? I bring my little bud centers up a little bit where they're popping open. And you then blot. And then you can soften it back if you want. Okay, now let's make this pretty painting into a beautiful painting. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go into my letter it pen and it's kind of like when you used to look at clouds and see animals. What I want you to do is look at the flower and look for petals. And I'm going to show you how I do that. I see a petal right here in the background. And I just lightly, that's what's so good about the letter it pen. You can lightly do these things and just jagger it around. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be right on the line or anything like that. Just jagger it around and you see the little petal. See that? And you just keep going. You can get as dark as you want. You can add another layer if you want. You, it's up to you, but I love the letter it pen because it gives you that option because it's such a fine point. So here's another little petal. You see how it, when this is done, this is gonna look stunning. And like I said, you don't have to follow. See how I gap it? I don't care. It looks beautiful. It's all about looking beautiful. And I look at it and I say, where's my petal? Okay, I see a petal right here. And I see a petal coming over this way. That looks nice. This one comes around. I see one right in here. And when you're doing this, you're actually teaching your brain to see things that ordinarily you might not have noticed. So you actually, it's a very good lesson. And in seeing. I'm going to go right around that center and then I'm going to go around the center again because I see another value. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to come up here and carve out my other petals. And this is fun because it's like doodling and 
it's so relaxing. And I'm, of course, I'm rushing through it, but you take your time. It's really therapeutic, and we could use that these days. Okay, that looks nice. Oh, I like this one. It comes out, it flips up, comes over. Like I say, if you take your time, you'll see so much. And then I'm just going to carve out the bottom. See how that flipped? You'll see it. It's just a matter of practice. So that looks pretty nice. And this one here, we'll get this going this way. And look how stunning this flower now looks compared to before. It was good before, and, it, and it's just, a, actually, it's not that it didn't look good before. It looked great, but the, now it looks uh, different. So it's another option, basically. I liked them both ways. Okay, now you could actually put some round circles in at the bottom and let it, maybe just some dots at the top because you want it lighter at the top and darker at the bottom. And you see how nice that came out? So I'm thinking, you know, you know me, I need a bumblebee. So let's just add one just so you can see. I'm not gonna bore you with 20 of them. Put that little yellow there and I'm gonna shape it a little bit. And just give them a little shape. And I like them soft, soft little bee. And we'll let him dry a little bit. And it's just a pill shape, right? You can even make believe you got some down here. Just look, put the little lines in, you'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna outline this one. And I like that leaf there. And I see another petal behind it. So you see how pretty it is now, but we're gonna make it just different. And like I said, you could leave it left. Like I said, you could have left it the way it was, but I always like to mess around. I always like trying new things. Here's a beautiful fold. And then there's one in the background. And actually, that looks like a whole fold. I like it. Leave it alone. I feel, see in a little outline here, got some dark, and that ends up being another petal. So you can be an artist, who knew? All you have to do is outline and, and you can uh, really add a lot of detail to it without working real hard, but it adds a lot to your painting. You might want some that are left with an outline and some not, which I really like this one. I think I'm just gonna leave it and I'm just gonna bring this down. I like that little leaf. And Bring that leaf out. Put a line in it. <laughs> I might just, just add just few lines here and not a lot. So I like that. Because I want this to be this, this area to be the center of interest. So this one needs a little bit more detail. So I will outline this one a little bit more. And give it a little something. And I like that little peek through of the growth. You know, it's ready to pop and it's starting to show its beautiful flower underneath. And then outline that. And you got a beautiful bud. So this bud really stands out compared to these, right? So what I might want to do is just outline this one a little bit and let it fade away down to nothing on this one. Leave that one alone. Maybe just add a little leaf line or a little stem. That's it. And this could use a little growth thing. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, just wiggle. It works every time. And then on this one, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a little opening. And I don't want too, too much on this one. And that's just a design uh, preference. You do what you want. If you want them all lined out, and you do it. You do whatever you want. That's what makes us all artists. That Otherwise, we'd have one painting on our wall because everybody wants the same exact picture. 
We don't. We all have different likes, and that's why you need to do what you really love. And you're not doing it right or wrong. It's what you love. And if you love what you're doing, you did it right. I'm going to tell you that right now. A lot of people are like, oh, I did that. I don't know. Is that any good? Well, do you like it? Yeah. Well, then it's very good. And what you do is you say to people, thank you very much. I work very hard. You don't say, ah, not that great. No, no, don't do that. No, no, you are that great. You just have no confidence. So I need to give you some confidence. And I just hope that, uh, see, this one comes into our space. So that's going to get a little bit of an outline, but then it's going to fade out. Do you see how that brought that whole thing into our space? Okay, I'm going to leave that. Let's go address this bumblebee. I actually think this needs a little bit. So I'm going to just give that a little bit and a little there. And maybe that line there. See how a little sometimes does a lot? So on this bumblebee, I'm just going to color in its head. Give him a couple antennas. Give him a little bit of a black belly band. Maybe another one there. And a little stinger. And they're like little check marks, their legs. And I like to tap on the bottom with the pen because that way it gives that a little shadow and it looks really convincing. So what I'm gonna show you something else is that when you do this, put a, your brush into a little alcohol and just wipe it out and then just touch and pull and you get a, you can pull that letter at ink Look at that. And he looks like he's moving because they're not stiff and stationary. Just soften the edges. And it looks like he's flying. Okay, that looks really good. Maybe I would like to lighten this little petal a little bit. I'm going to use blending. I might like to, I might like to lighten uh, some petals a little more. So I can take a little alcohol blending solution, put it on that and blot. And you see, you can lighten up so you're not stuck if you want to make some adjustments. And now, uh, even this little fold, I kind of like this to have a little more. Now, this you don't have to do. This is getting a little more advanced, but I just want to let you know, you can come back and make adjustments. Use your blending solution. It works best. And I'm just putting little dots in there and letting the blending solution do its deal. And then blot. I'm drying out, I have to put a little, little bit more blending solution. I'm gonna use a different brush. I paint so much that my brushes, <laughs> you'll eventually your brushes will wear out, but don't throw them away. They make the best grasses and such things. So I'm just tapping on the out on the with blending solution onto the pearl. And look how beautiful that is. It adds a little bit of a highlight. And I'm gonna do the same thing right over here. And sometimes you have to do it a few times. Okay, that looks really nice. I'm just looking for a variation. So I think that came out really sweet. Don't you like that? All right, so let's put that aside. That's a nice thank you note. You can use your stamps and write thank you or whatever. <laughs> so on this one here, I thought we would use, um, just have some fun, <clears throat> blowing ink. So I'm gonna use this time some of the um, opulent and the divine, which is a blue and a purple, and see what we come up with. Because I wanna do is uh, an abstraction, and I wanna talk about abstractions a little bit. So I'm going to put in, first I'm going to use the uh, opulent, which is a purple. And I'm just putting that down. Now I'm going to put blending solution on top of it. And of course you could have did it the other way. Of course you can. You can watch it. But this time we're going to watch ink and play with it and make some abstractions. But there is a deal with an abstract. It's not just, oh, I just dumping color on here and it looks gorgeous. Well, they, yeah, the, co the color is gorgeous. Look at this. But you, you got when you do an abstract, you want to think about design a little bit. Is it moving the way you want? Does it have a nice flow? And don't be afraid to turn it. 
and out of the middle, I'm gonna blow it out. I can also take some alcohol and just pull it around and then blow again to get that lighter look that I like. And it has a very organic feel to it. Look at this, look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna put some of that there and I'm gonna blow into it this time rather than the other way. Because it's about textures and and the feeling you get. Now I'm just gonna take some alcohol and just drop a couple of drops in here, see what happens. I'm looking, like I said, for texture. I don't want my edges all harsh. I like that. I'm gonna leave it alone. Now I'm gonna go into the um, Divine, which is a blue. And these are up next to each other on a color wheel and it, it makes for a harmonious painting. And I'm just gonna use it straight. And then I can always add more alcohol and see what I get. Kinda cool. When you do an abstract, you don't really know what you're gonna get. That's why it's kind of an abstract. I'm just gonna bring this around. I think I want this shape. So I keep things in mind like for shapes and such things. And then I'm gonna use some blending solution again. And then I'm gonna blow. And blow back down. I'm gonna pick it up even and smoosh it that way. So don't be afraid to get get funky with your with your painting. I mean, just have a potty, dance. Think about it like a dance. Look at how pretty that is. I need that to come off the paper. I don't like it like that. I'm gonna put alcohol in it this time and just blow it off so it's light. Cause I don't want a lot of attention over here, but I want a little bit. So that's what I think about when I'm doing abstractions. I'm thinking, where do I want you to look? Are the colors harmonious? Is anything distracting me from where I want you to look next? And I can soften it with a little alcohol. Look at this beautiful wishy-washy area there. It's almost like a nebula, which is really, really beautiful. Okay, so now let's go into a little of the alloy. Let me see if I can. I have a little rose. Now, the one thing about the alloy, I'm gonna show you what it does. And uh, it's strong. So I'm gonna put one little drop right here. One little drop, you see that? And I'm gonna put a little, oops, a little blending solution on it because you need to use blending solution with your alloy. It keeps it from, uh, it actually sets it up a little bit. But you see how one little drop makes all those little chunks and you can control it. You can also put it on your on your palette, which I, for the first time, I would say put it on your palette, take a, take a little toothpick, put it where you want, but just drops and get the blending solution ready. and then blow it the way you want it to go. You can always add more, but if you add too much, it really covers everything. And I'm not even kidding. I should show you just so you'll see. But this is really beautiful. Come on, you know that's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna do a blob on here just so you can see. If I take a uh, blending solution, put it right here, and take a bunch of this alloy and put it here. If I go down on it, you can see how it covers. It's very opaque, but it's beautiful. It's like steel. I love it. Now, if you don't use the blending solution and you go to rub it, it'll come off on your finger. So that's why you need blending solution. I think I would like some more. Put a couple of drops of alcohol. I mean a blending solution and just tap into it with that and you see how I get these little beautiful chunks and so you don't be afraid to try different things to make things move and such that's when you become the magic person and you can always put blending solution right on it on your palette you want 
little bits. But this way you can control where it goes a little bit better. And I mean it only a little bit better. <laughs> it's still gonna do whatever it wants to do. And I want it to go up a little bit. So I'm having this shape. But I think I'd like a little right in here. I'll get some more and blow it up. If it isn't moving, put a little more alcohol on it. I mean, blending solution and whoosh. I like that. So you can see uh, making abstracts are so much fun. You can add as many colors as you want, but I like to keep it a little minimal. I think it looks really nice. And this makes a great thank you note. Uh, you could turn it. So I wanna talk about this a little bit though. I think I like it this way actually. Uh, <clears throat> you're, when you're doing an abstraction, you want a center of interest and you want it to take you somewhere. So don't just throw ink at it and just say it's done. No, give people something to look at and you're the director. You show them where you want them to go. And I'm just using, like I said, leftovers on the table here on my craft sheet. And look how beautiful that is. That That's stunning. That's a That has good center of interest. It takes me up here, it comes down. You're making this nice little uh, semicircle look. It's it's got a, It's very desirable. Now, if you wanted to, you can make a flower on here. So let's go for it, right? <laughs> you know me. I'm going to blow a little flower, but I just want it to be a little flower. So I'm just going to put a little one right there. So we're going to change this whole picture. And I'm going to go straight down. I'm going to shake this bottle good. And just straight down. And now out. And maybe I want another one right there. And I'll blow in that direction. And another little dot in the middle. And I keep doing this until I see my little flower appear. And it appears, it will. And like I said, you can always outline it. But I would like little ones. So I just want tiny little flowers. I might even use my brush and just give it a little, because I don't want it too big. I want the illusion of a flower, but I don't want it to be too in your face. All right, that looks pretty nice. I'm gonna put some of that pearl on the table. Mixing it with the alloy. And I don't want it to be like flower. I want it to be subtle. So you're seeing little flowers, but now in the process of doing this, I'm getting you to come down here even more. And I might put a little flower over here, but yet it's a flower, but it's not a flower, if you know what I mean. It's the impression. It's an abstraction. But there's a feeling of what it is. And I might take a little more of that. opulent and put that right in there and maybe play around with that to make it have the feeling of a flower without having a flower just kind of like tap in a circle you can do that or you could just leave it free form that is all of what about what you love and I'm just because when I put this dock here it makes you come down and that's what I'm looking for. And I think I'd like you to come this way. So now I'm adding a little more of the dark. The pearl. And I'm really liking it, but it's... And now I'm gonna take a little blending solution, put it on my table, oops and put little dots in the middle here. Just to break up the color a bit. And give it a little interest and I might blot it and see what happens. And it lightens it up, see that? I like it. Because I don't want it too heavy. 
And I would like this area a little bit lighter. That's distracting to me. That's better. So I, I, I do like to turn things around and look at them. And see, so I'm looking right here, and then I go here, and then I float up. So it's a nice composition. And that works really nice. Now, if you wanted to, we can take it a step further one more time. And the opposite of these colors is yellow. So we could take a little of the radiant color. And I would do this very sparingly because it's yellow and it's the opposite of the, um, the blues and the purple. So, you know, you don't want too much because then you're going to lose what you got. I'm going to get another brush. Okay. And I'm going to just tap into this and just give it a little bit with and blow it. But I want it near the center of interest because that's where it's going to be noticeable the most. I'm going to take a little alcohol and put that in there because I don't want it too heavy. I want it light. And you see how it makes you travel to where I want you to go? Look at that. Look how stunning that is. Maybe one little dip. But see how a little goes a long, long way? Don't overdo it. Don't go and say, oh, okay, I guess, uh, you know. Well, you can try it, but you got to be careful because one thing should be dominant which is the purple and the yellow isn't a supporting actor that's why i'm using alcohol on it because i don't want it too strong and to soften it out now if you mix the alcohol with the um, purple you're going to get a brown so you gotta be careful of that but i'm going to take a little bit of the alcohol and just plop it in the middle of that spot and just lighten it up a little bit and uh that that's a stunning little uh this is a stunning little abstract i think it came out great you frame this and you got a beautiful painting or you can make a card out of it yes you can outline in here as well it's up to matter of what you want to do. Now I want to go back to this one now that I had time to all set up and all my blending solutions have dried. Now I'm going to go back with my uh, Ranger Opaque white pen and I'm going to make some details. And I'm just going to scribble some circles and scribble where I want highlights. And I find that this pen works really great. And it does really fine detail and I'm just scribbling but you can really add a lot of detail this way. See that? You can add a little line here. Add a little line here. You can scribble a little on the green. So you can actually make layers with this uh, pearl. Maybe a little scribble of light on that one in the background. It's just a matter of what you want as an artist, and uh, I, I just like a little bit more details. Even though it's abstract and impressionistic, I, I like it. And I might even put a little shine on his head. Yeah. How cute is that? Okay, well, anyway, I think that this was a great little lesson on how to do some abstractions and what to think about when you're doing them, and some... Uh, some beautiful cards. I want to show you a couple more I did in advance so you can see some other ideas. So here's one. Eh, it could use work. You know what I would do? Outline it. Here's one I did do. It was pretty pale, but I outlined it. Look how beautiful it shows up. Here's one I did as a card, as a thank you note. And I outlined it with the white opaque pen. Ranger's opaque white. And here's just one I did just softly. So I used a lot of alcohol on this one. So it's just a matter of what you, uh, the effect you're looking to get and all of that. So I say play with it. Uh, let me know if you need any help. Uh, you know, uh, you can uh, email me or message me on Facebook. And I'm happy to help you if you get stuck. Um, and, it, you know, that's what we're here to do. Inspire and share with each other. So until next time, everybody, happy painting. Bye.